Um, I'm not going to talk for too long tonight. Um, I'm an infant teacher. I work at Sonic Humber Primary School and I teach year two and I also teach year one ICT. I'm going to show you some of the tools that I've used um, for very young children um, to learn about the basics with ICT through. These tools are actually good for anybody but they're especially good for younger children. The first one's a website called Poisson Rouge. Um, it's a French website um, but totally interactive and language isn't a barrier on this which makes it a really nice activity for younger children to be involved in. It's a kind of click and explore website. So everything in this world does something. You can lift up things, they drop and drag. It's really good for children who are developing their mouse skills and just learning how to explore using ICT. Um, lots of different things to play with and look at. And it just seems to go on forever because everywhere you click on, everywhere you go, there's more and more activities for, um, for children to play with. Um, as I said, really good for, for young children who are learning numbers and counting and how to smash things. Um, and it does just seem to go on and on. Everywhere you go, there's something else to play with, something else to do, something else to explore. They love this. And what they love about it even more is that you can let it go the whole way around. <laughs> <coughs> And there's also a swing as well. Um, so as, as I said, there's no barriers here because it is just a click and explore kind of activity. It does some really strange things that I don't understand, but um, <laughs> the kids seem to do, and they really love it. Um, really worth exploring, and as an adult, it's actually quite good fun. When I first found about this, I spent about half an hour on here, just playing around, just to, to get used to it. So I really highly recommend that for um, young, young kids. There's some nice drawing things down here as well. If you're ever doing graphics, <coughs> and simple kind of click, Click and play graphics you can. You can also mix colours here as well, which is quite good fun. So that's the first website I'd like to share with you, prassonrouge.com. And the second one is one that's been talked about a lot recently, um, and this is called Sumo Paint. It's at sumopaint.com. It's an online paint editor. So it's a bit like having Photoshop um, on your computer, but it's online. And everything you do, you can save online as well. Um, the nice thing about this is these kind of software packages cost a lot of money for schools to buy. And certainly not very many primary schools have really good paint editing packages. And this is one of them. Um, <clears throat> the other good thing about it is that kids can use it at home as well. Um, it's almost a fully fledged, I think it is actually a fully fledged paint editor. You've got brushes and pens and fill tools. Um, works just like something like Photoshop. You can have some fun with it. It's got all the advanced stuff for for um, advanced editing, like adding layers. There are filters that you can put in. Um, make your own packages, make your own designs, things like that. Um, hundreds of brushes for them to explore with. If you're ever doing anything with brushwork, um, and young children, or anybody actually, you can use this kind of tool. It's really good fun to play around with, um, and extremely powerful as well. One of the things I use it for is teaching symmetry, because it has a built-in symmetrical tool as well can make some really nice pictures and patterns. So that's what I'm going to say. There are two tools, Press on Rouge and Sumo Paint. Really good fun to play with and really good for kids to use at school as well. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>